Now we're going to create a background for the portrait to sit in. We're going to be using collage, ink and paint. We're also going to start to add elements of our narrative hidden within the imagery. I'm a musician as well as an artist, so I'm going to base my narrative on music. So, step two, the background. So using an A3 piece of card, I'm just placing my illustration centre to it and where it will sit in my finished piece. And then I'm going to create around it. You can basically put your image wherever you want, down at the bottom, off to the side, at an angle. You can do it landscape, off to the side landscape, or you could do something completely abstract. It's entirely up to you. Absolutely anything goes. Next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use some collage relief for the background. So I'm going to cut some things out of newspaper. I'm going to use these crossword squares. I'm going to cut strips out of them. These will be used to stick to the paper and eventually I'll write little messages in the squares. I'm also tearing strips out of coloured card and brown envelopes and these strips will be used to create an exploding feature out from the centre of the canvas. I want it to be high energy. I've decided to use a, a limited colour palette on this image as well, so I'm, I'm going to go for reds, oranges and browns to keep it quite warm. The reason I do this is to keep it quite stylized. Next, I'm going to use some watered down inks um, just to go over everything that I've made with the collage, with the strips, and then let it dry a little bit. And then with some darker ink, I'm just going to go over it again, watering it down as I go. And I want that ink to soak into all of the collage relief that I've put on the page. Just putting some dabs and splats of ink um, straight from the jar, just so it soaks in a little bit. So it's very dark ink, so it gets more texture in there and creates some more interest. And then just dabbing off the excess water so that the, the card will dry properly. And just taking it off bit by bit, making sure it's all gone. And then I just pop the Illustration on my face back to see how it's looking. I'm quite happy with that. That's fairly good. But I think I need a few more elements of texture. I've got this cork um, and I'm going to dab the bottom of the cork and I'm just going to dab, dab it in some acrylic paint and just splodge it over the canvas and then sort of blend it in with my hand a little bit. Just adding bits more texture and then a bit of Posca pen as well and just bringing it all together yeah, and I'm quite happy with that as a textured background I mean you could do yours any way you please it's just uh, about experimenting um, and using some collage elements you can use paints, inks, acrylics, poster paint absolutely anything I'm quite happy with what I've ended up with here I think it looks very energetic and it's a good background to place my portrait illustration on to move to the next stage. Some good texture, strong marks and interesting graphic elements. Hope you enjoyed that. That was really good fun putting that together. I love how it comes together. I love building textures and layering things up on top of each other and see how they turn out. The next stage will be putting all these elements together. So introducing our portrait to our background and then putting the final touches to our artwork.